it's been a while since I've done a video, so here I am. And first, yes, I know all my hair is gone again. So I saw a post on Facebook today that kind of got me thinking about a different perspective um, regarding door-to-door -door missionaries. Now, we've all been there. Somebody comes to your door, they've got a message. Have you heard of Jesus? Uh, are you happy with your life? We have this good news for you. We've all heard the message. Now, what this post was basically saying is, is that those questions and their mission and everything isn't to convert you. They know that they're going to meet rejection. At least the organization does. The missionaries, maybe not so much. What it's meant to do is cement their belief. And it's meant to cement the control that the community has over those people, over their congregation. And I know it sounds super insidious, but it is what it is. So when they come to your door, they know the organization knows that their missionaries are going to meet a lot of rejection. They're going to meet a lot of hostility because again, it's 2019. Everyone's heard this message. Everyone knows the shtick and people are more often than not annoyed to have their day interrupted with this posed religious conversion. Now, when they meet with this hostility, you know, obviously we become, we are the others. We are the hostile world outside the safety and the security of the community. So they return after these missionary trips, after receiving 50 some odd rejections, 50 some odd doors slammed in their faces. They return to their congregation and they're welcomed as heroes. They're, they're you know, welcomed lovingly and accepting and they share their experiences and from what i gather from this post um you know essentially just a, a round table yes the world is cruel yes our message is rejected but those poor pitiful souls we're all safe we're all secure we love you and i mean it's not to say that it's not great to be in a community where you are accepted where you are uh, protected and where you feel welcomed that's a very good thing that's something that a lot of people crave you know your group of friends or your family however this level of manipulation and control for lack of a better word it is pretty insidious now what this got me thinking is is to meet these missionaries in a different way whenever they come to my door which happens often, even though I live in an apartment complex, somehow they always end up coming to my door. I always meet them friendly. You know, I'm, I'm not hostile. I don't slam the door in their face. I don't cuss them out. I don't really retort to snarky responses even. You know, sometimes if I'm tired, it'll be a little bit curt because I just, I don't have time for it. However, with this new insight that it's not about me and it's not about attacking my difference of belief but rather setting the world apart as an other for the insular community it would be somewhat better if people greeted you know these missionaries and tried to hold a conversation with them and just kind of try to at least tap at the chains and say you know listen you you know this is all manipulation that it's all doing this for you and, and obviously not come out and directly attack their belief because or their methods really because even then it's not really about their beliefs if people want to you know believe in jesus that's that's their thing that's fine but kind of attack the method and say you know this is what this is doing are you sure this is what you want to do you know are you sure this is the community that you want to believe in or not believe in, belong to, if they have this level of control over you. You know, this, I don't want to say puppet strings, but I can't really think of another analogy to it. But just try to give them, you know, the insight that this Facebook post had in a friendly conversational manner, and maybe, you know, I'm not setting out to destroy another religion, obviously. Um, you know, I'm fine with whatever people want to believe. It's it's their life, it's their path, whatever. But 
if you can help another person not belong to such a controlling system, and not all of them are, you know, to be clear, not every Christian church does this kind of stuff, you know, um, but if you can, you know, help somebody break free of that level of control, it ultimately might help them out, you know, it might help mend the rift between a lot of religions because we do have a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of bridges that have burned because of this idea of we are us and they are the others you know us versus them and as i've told a lot of people when i get into these discussions turned into fights it's not a competition you know there should not be one religion is true and the others are completely false and wrong and we need to convert them and change them and do all of this stuff to them. That should never be the case. Religion is something that is there to help people not start wars, but so often it has. And that's something that needs to change. So those are my thoughts for the day. Ran a little longer than I wanted it to, but there you have it.